what is up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to part one or two of the Ram 3500 rebuild. Uh, if you guys watched the first video of it, you saw that it needs new wheels ASAP because two of them are bent badly and flat. And I just got a notification that my, uh, my tires actually came in. I sent them to my brother's house in Delaware just to save on some taxes because well, buying six brand new tires gets really expensive. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna go pick them up right now, get them installed on the truck, and then I'll show you what else we got going on today. Let's go. So while I'm waiting for all their parts to come in, I'm gonna work with what I got. Uh, so far, the first thing that came in was this bracket right here. It's like the thing that holds the headlight. So I'm gonna try to replace that right now. In order to do that, I gotta take off this grill and all these covers, and then we can replace it. Uh, luckily, I noticed they left us these screws from the fender, which is awesome because they would be really hard to find and really pricey because I see people selling like two of them for like 20 bucks on eBay. Luckily, we do have the headlight left over from my other Dodge Ram. That was one that uh, was fine when it was hit, but I uh, ended up going with two aftermarket headlights for that one. But this one just needed one, so I'm just gonna use this one. And then if you guys are curious, what happened to the fender? It's actually right there. Um, it looks like a complete piece of scrap, but it does have the antenna, which I won't need to buy. And then that plastic bit right there also save me some money and then still some hardware there. So I got the grill off, that took like one minute. But this bit right here that's broken off that we're replacing with this is really hard to get to. Uh, it's, get, it's getting held in by screws here, here, and these two right here. And if you look over here, um, it is essentially really, really hard to get to them. There's one all the way in there and one all the way around back. So um, hopefully, luckily I could actually reach them right here. But uh, yeah, let's get these off, get the new bracket on, and then hopefully we could install our headlight. is in starting to look more like a truck again this side needs to have the changed out to a led because this one actually came with the led headlight and this one didn't but i already have the other bulb so we'll put that in um yeah i think we're good to go here um and now we wait for more parts it's a hot and humid day today but it's time to change uh the lug studs on my ram 3500 i got one two lug studs missing and some of them are bent up pretty bad this one is broken off. So I'm gonna be replacing all eight of them and uh, showing you guys how to do it. Let's go. For step one, let's jack up the truck, put a jack stand, and I'm gonna use a 22 to take off this wheel and we see what we got going on under. Threaded pretty bad. This bad boy got it off. 
second. So we definitely got to replace all eight. So since like three of them are bent, this wheel won't come off. So I might have to take a grinder to it. All right, so lucky for me and any other Ram 3500 owners, these are extremely easy to take off, uh, especially in the front. Most of the time on other cars, you'd have to take off uh, this caliper right here. There's two bolts right here, uh, slide out the rotor, and then you'd be able to access this part. But here it's all the way out and there's plenty enough room to take out the actual studs. So I'm gonna spray this down with WD-40 right now and uh, try to hammer these out. Wish me luck. Couldn't find any WD-40, but PB Blaster would have to do. All right, next step is to actually hammer them out. Um, I suggest putting a lug nut on the tip of it and then actually hammering on the lug nut because you got a bigger target to hit instead of these small ones. So we're gonna do that right now. Only hammer I can find around the house. Let's see if this works. That took about three minutes. Maybe we just got lucky. <laughs> like Chris Fix says, out with the old and with the new. Got these on eBay for $20, I think. So they're usually pretty cheap. All right, now to tighten these in, there's a couple different methods that people use. Uh, the simple one would be to actually put a bunch of washers here, uh, put the lug nut on here and tighten it, and this would squeeze it in. Um, some people choose to hammer them in. I wouldn't recommend that. Um, I found a special tool for it. Um, it's like, it's basically like a washer, but it spins and inside it has little ball bearings and it makes this a much easier process, except Amazon is supposed to deliver it this morning and it says it's out for delivery. So I'm gonna wait till it comes in before I tighten these in. Uh, it's gonna be probably a couple hours for me, but through the magic of editing, it should be here right now. And there it is. So actually didn't feel like waiting for Amazon to deliver, so I went and got one of these Advanced Auto. It was about three times the price, but I uh, gotta do what you gotta do. If you guys wanna pick one of these up off Amazon, I'll leave a link in the description. Uh, they're pretty handy. The reason these are a lot better is because these actually spin freely uh, as you're tightening them, uh, as opposed to if you put washers on, they kind of get stuck. Uh, and you don't want them to get stuck as you're spinning because you're just putting a necessary pressure on the lug nut. You could, you know, strip it again. Uh, so yeah, let's uh, unbox this and throw this on and tighten these studs. Here's a better angle of how fast and well these work. Log on. It took like two minutes. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much done. Gonna throw the wheel back on and uh, we're good to go. We got the wheels squared away. I just scheduled an appointment. Uh, Jack's Mobile Tire Service, actually awesome service if you guys live in this tri-state area. Uh, they come right to your house, uh, mount your tires for you, balance them, all that good stuff uh, for 30 bucks a tire. So um, they're coming out tomorrow. Gonna get these new tires put on that you guys saw us pick up. I uh, got the new wheels for them. Well, used but new, but they're not bent uh, TPMS sensors. Also, as a little update, uh, I've been going back and forth about removing this bed. Uh, I removed the, my bed on my black 3500, and the, even though it does save weight for towing, um, I realize this bed isn't that heavy. It really only weighs about 400 pounds, so I'm not really gonna be um, saving much weight, and I really like the way it looks. You know, it's the bed is not too bad, and um, I, found, I found out that these panels actually separate 
uh, under each panel we have, um, if you take this trim off, there's like these little spot welds. You can probably see them in there. And my body shop guy told me he could actually do it at a good price and found me this panel for 700 bucks. So I think what we're gonna do is actually just replace this panel and call it a day, make it look pretty stock back here. I actually really like the look of the bed. So yeah, that's kind of where I'm at right now. So probably no bed removing going on for now because once you remove the bed, you gotta buy custom fenders for it, mud flaps, you gotta wire up new tail lights, you gotta build a new bed back here. So, you know, it, it comes out about the same price to get a, a flat bed installed and I really don't think it's, it's worth it for what I'm gonna be doing for it. So yeah, this is gonna stay, this is gonna get fixed and look uh, nice and OEM. All right, we got Jack's mobile tires out here, changing the wheels, finally. Um, I'm just gonna put this on time lapse since I'm not gonna be doing much. All right, successfully made it into the truck. Didn't get killed. This is uh, this is my uh, bike, by the way, for those of you guys wondering. This is a uh, 2015 Honda CB500F. Took the fairings off and stuff. But it's a fun little bike. It's nice and light. Um, I didn't want, it's my first bike ever, so I wanted to get something nice and easy. Uh, but anyway, onto the truck. Here are the tires. Look nice and new and expensive. <laughs> but uh, yeah, these should last for a while. I've seen reviews of people saying they last them for like 70, 80,000 miles. Um, yeah, the guy did a good job installing them. Didn't have to do anything. Um, one of these lug nuts is bad, by the way, so I'm gonna have to replace it. I told him to leave it off. But yeah, brand new tires. So yeah, this thing is officially, this is everything, everything is nice and snug here. So this thing is officially ready to drive back to my house and then I could really finish up this front end. I think I feel comfortable enough to drive this thing. Now that the tires are decent. So let's go for it. Little spin. I wish I had like a head mount or something for a GoPro. <laughs> Can't really do that for an iPhone. Fires right up. You can hear that turbo whistling. Man, I am really unused to driving. I mean, I don't think I ever drove something this big. Wow, it pulls nice. Alright, finally, let's get this thing home. Hopefully I don't get pulled over. Fingers crossed. It's only a seven minute drive, but rush hour and everything. Anyway, let's go. Oh man, so far driving this thing, the position and how high you are on the road is just absolutely amazing. You really do feel like the king of the road. Like, I'm obsessed with it. I can't wait to like whip this thing around the streets. Except it's so wide. I'm like looking in that mirror right there and I'm always on that white lane. I'm not used to how wide this thing is. So definitely got to get used to it from coming from a Prius and a motorcycle and a Corvette before that. So uh, nothing like I ever drove, but so far I'm loving it. Nice and comfortable. I'm gonna give it some juice here. It's not the fastest thing, but you definitely feel the torque. It just puts you back in your seat. All right, made it home. It drives amazing. Super happy with this thing. Didn't get pulled over. Um, so yeah, this thing's probably gonna take up most of my driveway right now. Yep. Uh, I didn't really realize how big this truck is until I put it on my driveway. Could even fit my Prius behind it without sticking the front of it into the garage. But that gives me enough room to work in there. I'm going to go start tearing into it. Uh, but that's for the next episode. With that said, guys, thank you for watching. Peace.